Fit for Duty Training. Introduction. For many of us, going to work becomes part of our routine. Building our lives around routines offers us stability and a mechanism for planning fun activities with family and friends. However, life isn't always so easy and predictable. We may find it difficult to focus on our jobs during these uneasy times. This course aims to explore the concept of being fit for duty and why it's so important for us to maintain our fitness and to do our jobs safely and effectively. In 2019, the federal jurisdiction recorded 47,299 work-related injuries. Of those injuries, 44.1% were disabling in nature, leaving 20,850 workers disabled in some capacity. Injuries and fatalities can be brought down significantly through good fit-for-duty practices. The first step towards maintaining fitness begins with the individual. What's even more important is creating a work environment that facilitates the health and well-being of employees. As a manager or supervisor, you're responsible for taking note of employee fitness. Assessing whether an employee is fit for duty isn't always easy and there are many ways fitness can be altered for the negative. This course will focus on what it means to be fit for duty and how you, as a supervisor, can create procedures that facilitate a healthy work environment. Key takeaways. By the end of this course, you should be able to understand the core tenets of being fit for duty, recognize how an employee or yourself can be unfit for duty, List the common impairments that can lead to dangerous workplace situations. Instill the procedures you can take as a manager or supervisor to ensure your employees remain fit for duty. Interpret the indications of an unfit employee and how to get them back on track. Learn what procedures you can adopt to ensure fitness in your workforce. And establish the framework for a back-to-work program. This course will be presented in four chapters. Chapter 1, What It Means to Be Fit for Duty. Chapter 2, Employer and Employee Responsibilities. Chapter 3, Procedures and Best Practices. Chapter 4, Return to Work. Now let's begin.